In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 6, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Chicago White Sox vs. Kansas City Royals The Chicago White Sox and Kansas City Royals wrap up their three-game set on Wednesday evening. While this may seem like a meaningless September game, there's still money to be made and I'm narrowing in on both the side and total. Kansas City stole Game 2 in walk-off fashion, 7-6. The Chicago White Sox are struggling to win games, but so are the Royals who are closing in on 100 losses on the season. The White Sox swept the Royals in the previous series. Kansas City has lost eight of their last 10 games. Furthermore, White Sox starter Tauki Tausaid has been decent recently, allowing just three runs in his last two outings spanning 11.1 innings. Jordan Lyles has been one of the worst pitchers in the big leagues this season. He posted a disastrous 7.89 earned run average in August. The veteran has issued a poor 5.14 earned run average against the White Sox this season. He has squandered 10 homers in his last four outings. This may appear to be a meaningless game, but I still think it'll be worth a watch considering I have action on the contest. The right-hander is having a forgettable season as he comes in at 4-15 with a 6.29 earned run average and 1.26 WHIP. Kansas City as a team is just 4-22 straight up in his outings this year. Furthermore, the White Sox have seen Lyles well, slashing an impressive .310. 0.364 and 0.507 against him over 142 at bats. Even though both of these teams have been horrendous this year, I still believe the White Sox have more star power. So the Chicago White Sox money line is our full game side pick. While I expect Tausay to contain the Royals, he has an earned run average over five on the road. The Royals have averaged a stellar 5.25 runs against the White Sox this season. The White Sox have allowed five or more runs in five of their last seven decisions. In addition, Jordan Lyles rarely keeps opponents quiet. He has now squandered four or more runs in four of his last five outings. Chicago has been productive on the road, scoring 24 runs in their last five road games. The over is 4-0-1 to zero to one in the White Sox last five road games. Lyles has actually been better at home this year, but he still owns a 5.05 earned run average at Kaufman. I expect the White Sox to get to him and do some damage. On the flip side, Tauki Tausaint has been a bit of a wild card this year. He'll have some decent outings and then get absolutely blown up. I think it'll end up being somewhere in the middle, where the Royals notch a few runs. The real damage could come later in the game as these are two of the worst bullpens in the game. Kansas City is ranked 28th in bullpen earned run average and 27th in WHIP while Chicago is 26th and 24th in those respective categories. Both units have also given up at least 69 home runs, which only seven teams have managed to do. Look for this series finale to turn into a barn burner as I expect a barrage of runs. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston Astros vs. Texas Rangers The Rangers host the Astros in a crucial game on Wednesday, September 6th. The Astros has taken a hold of the American League West Division as they have defeated the Rangers in the first two games of the series. Texas is still in a wild card race, but they will want to get back at the Astros and avoid the sweep. We have Verlander vs. Scherzer in this Texas showdown. The Houston Astros are outstanding on the road, winning nine of their last ten games after dominating wins in the opening two bouts of this series. The Texas Rangers once had a huge seven-game lead in the division but are now in third place after going 4-13 to in their last 17 games. Furthermore, Justin Verlander has dominated the Rangers in his career, posting a 2.64 earned run average and a 20-8 record. He limited them to only four runs in 19 innings last season. Texas has been shaky, especially the bullpen, which has blown several leads in the eighth and ninth inning, and they can't be trusted if this is a close game. The Rangers' bullpen now has a 4.86 earned run average, pegging them 25th. This line is a bit strange. For one, we're getting the Astros, the division leader, and Justin Verlander at a great price. That feels like an automatic back. However, we're also getting a great price to fade the Rangers, a team that's won just four games since August 16. 
16th. The Rangers have been a complete mess over the last month, and they've been outscored 27-7 in the two games this series. I don't care about being at home or Max Scherzer on the mound, so the Houston Astros' money line is our full-game side pick. As mentioned, Verlander shuts down the Rangers, and he has issued a solid 3.86 earned run average and a 1.29 WHIP in an Astros uniform since he was acquired in late July. In addition, Scherzer is steady. The veteran has a minuscule 2.21 earned run average and a 0.85 WHIP. UHIP is a member of the Rangers. He has only allowed five runs in his last 23.2 innings, including six shutout innings last time out. Scherzer has produced a stellar 2.98 career earned run average against the Astros. Also, the under is 5-1-1 to -one -to -one in Scherzer's last seven starts. Scherzer and Verlander is all that needs to be said in this game. Both pitchers will shut down their opponents. The two offenses are solid, but these pitchers have been grooving recently and they will be forcing double plays and strikeouts all night. Scherzer has an earned run average of 2.21 since joining the Rangers. Verlander has an earned run average of 3.86 since joining the Astros. I expect scoring to be at a premium. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Baltimore Orioles vs. Los Angeles Angels It's the final game of the season between the Angels and Orioles Wednesday night in Anaheim. This is a case of two teams doing two different things right now. Baltimore looks to position themselves for a good bit of home field advantage in the postseason while the Angels are playing out the string at this point. The Orioles took three of the first five meetings this season and seven of the last nine. Their offense is scoring over five runs a game in their recent run and Sandoval is ripe for the picking. He walks a ton of batters and Baltimore's bat are good at making teams pay for their mistakes. The Orioles are 6-3 in Gibson's last nine starts, with no losses back-to-back. -back. Baltimore's relief pitchers have recorded a 3.03 earned run average and 3.67 FIP over the last 10 days, whereas the Angels' bullpen has accounted for an ugly 8.69 earned run average and 6.54 FIP across 29 innings of work in that span. The Orioles have done a good job against the Southpaws so far this season. Since August 15, they've notched a 119 WR C plus and .200 ISO versus left-handed pitchers. On the other side, the Angels have registered a 96 WRC plus and .187 ISO against right-handed pitchers over the past three weeks. It's hard to trust the starting duo in this game, so I'm going with the Orioles because of their strong lineup and exceptional bullpen. So the Baltimore Orioles' money line is our full game side pick. The Angels should have enough firepower to score a few runs, as Kyle Gibson has allowed three or more runs in each of his previous five starts. Patrick Sandler has issued a staggering 16 walks over his last four outings and will have a tall task to keep the Orioles quiet. Five of the Angels' last seven contests have produced runs in double figures. On the other side, eight of the Orioles' previous 10 tilts have seen nine or more runs on the scoreboard. Over the first five meetings this season, these two averaged a combined 9.6 runs per game, with the over going 2 to 1 to 2. The over has gone 6 to 2 to 2 in the Orioles' last 10 games and 5 to 1 to 1 over the Angels' last seven. Baltimore offense continues to rake, scoring six or more runs in five of their last seven games and at least five runs in ten of their last twelve. The Angels' offense is not consistent, but every few games they snap out of it. They scored six on Sunday in Oakland and have put up at least that many in three of their last six games. Together, these two offenses can pull this off. I would be surprised by a low-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.